dear students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am shri kumar the class is for 7th standard students subject is mathematics let me begin the class dear students we studied about bank and banking system and some fundamental aspect of it in the last video those who did not watch the last video should go through it and come back and continue with this video otherwise it will not be easy for you the topic is banks and simple interest some basic aspect of banks were explained to you last in the last video and the main thing described or explained to you was about different types of accounts that we have like a savings account where you will secure your money and save a little bit current account where we normally used for business purpose where the flow of money in and out will be very frequent and also you studied about recurring deposit account where you will be regularly investing a small amount regularly so that you will get a, a an amount accumulated in the bank and later will be useful and you also studied or understood what is in my fixed deposit where you will be depositing a huge amount compared to the compared to savings account and recurring deposit for a particular fixed time or fixed term we say all these things were explained in the last video you can go back to the video and also an idea about what is the concept of atm credit card and debit cards also were explained and my request is you should see that video so that you can continue here now what is left is little serious and little more important to you as far as exam point of view and as well as as far as your general awareness is concerned okay so with that in our mind you should go ahead in this particular topic this is the page of a passbook you may not be that familiar because you don't have an account or you are not dealing with passbook a passbook page is given in your textbook also these are the may entries made in the passbook of a particular person uh, and the passbook is of 2016 you can see and there are certain uh, line number is given here 1 2 3 which will be simply indicating which line number for reference these are dates what given in the month of february these are particulars what are particulars cash check check self interest this is check number but not all columns are filled here the withdrawn amount here the amount deposited here the balance i will explain you what it is see these are some transaction or activities happen in different dates first on second and then on 8th then 12th and 15th and 26th of february in 2016 cash is coming under particular way cash transaction has happened what has actually happened withdrawal means taken money deposited means given to the bank or it comes into your account so rupees 1500 was deposited into the bank that day and the balance became 7000 the second line is of 8th of february where some transaction done with the help of check and here's a check number every check will be having a check number identification number of the check what, a, what was done with that check again a deposit of 5000 was made to the bank that means 5000 rupees added to your account you must have deposited a check of 5000 this is check number which is a unique number printer just like our in the case of our, our currency we have a number check is also having its own number then again a transaction with check but check number is different and here it is withdrawn means the money was taken from the bank thereby 7000 which was added with plus 5000 12000 on 8th then from that 3000 was withdrawn again back to 9000 the balance here is something different self nothing mentioned here 1500 this mentioning is about cash withdrawal or you have put up a request for getting money from the bank 1500 that's why you have done it it is not paid to anyone else self is given not done by a check that's why check number is not 
So you went to the bank and withdrawn cash. Most of the time, sometimes you will provide a check writing your own name as self and will withdraw the money because it is your money, you can withdraw at any time. The last one is interest. As you are keeping money in bank, now it is 7,500, sometimes it will be more, sometimes it will be less. Bank is utilizing that money for a certain purpose. Bank is investing that money for a certain purpose. Bank is making money out of our money by giving it as a loan to others. So we get a kind of interest against it. A particular percentage is given to us. 135 rupees is given to us are deposited into our account. It is done by the bank. No person gave you money and you have not deposited but it is given by the bank as interest. And my dear student, the topic is banks and simple interest. You have come across the concept of interest in previous year also. And you have basic idea about how interest functions. It is a money paid by the bank in percentage per year to the customer because customer keeps money in bank. Here is a question related to it, the given passbook. What is it? On 2nd February 2016, the amount deposited was, amount deposited was 1,500 rupees and the balance was rupees 7,000, right? And on 12th of February, dash rupees were withdrawn by check number 243965. How much was withdrawn by the check number? 3,000 was withdrawn. Understood. And the balance was, again, on 12th, the balance is 9,000. On 26th of February, the bank paid an interest of rupees 135 to you. So a passbook is giving us clear-cut idea about what all transactions happened in the bank. Transactions are mainly of depositing amount into the bank, withdrawing amount from the bank. And how it is deposited, what way it is given under the particulars. And the reference number is check, it is check, check number will be given. So the passbook is a very good mechanism by which we get clear idea about what are happening in the bank in relation to your account. So you be interested to know that, you can check it from your parents, you don't have a bank account because to open a bank account you need a PAN card and you should be above 18 years for that. Okay, let us uh, go ahead in what is given in the textbook. Here is a situation given in the textbook. Who is this? Suvidya borrowed a sum of rupees 30,000 at 8% per annum interest for a year from her bank to buy a computer. At the end of the period, she had to pay back an amount of rupees 2,400 over and above what she had borrowed. So she had to pay more. That is what is said here. So we are asked to oh, just analyze this. Okay, wait a second. Let us analyze what happened here. Based on the given information, we can say that what we can say is uh, she borrowed a particular amount. The borrowed amount from the bank is named as principal borrowed. It is equal to 30,000 rupees. Okay. And the rate of interest is given as 8% per annum. 8 PCPA. 8 percent per annum. The interest according to this particular state after, at the end of the period she had to pay back an amount of 2400 rupees over and above what she had borrowed she had borrowed 30000 instead of returning 30000 she had to return 2400 rupees over and above that is the interest and she paid back when at the end of the period, a year. So, the, uh, the payment was done after a year, that is time is one year, understood? So, here we can say that the principal was 30,000 and interest paid is 2,500. So, naturally, principal we can write 30,000 and interest is 2,400 
and she had to pay 30,000 people, 32,400 rupees she paid. It's a basic understanding about the concept of interest. Because she took loan. She borrowed. That means she took loan. If you are depositing your money and on that interest will be because you have given money to the bank, so bank will give you a particular amount as interest. That will be an additional amount for you. Understood? So while borrowing also, there is an interest by the bank where bank will collect the interest. When you are depositing the amount, then also there is an interest paid. That money will you will be getting as a gain. This particular thing you should understand. Neha took a loan of rupees 50,000 rupees at 12% per annum to buy a two-wheeler. What amount she will return to the bank at the end of one year? Now here is they are asking us what will happen in this case, in the case of Neha. Okay, in the case of Neha, we know that the borrowed amount is 50,000. Okay, amount borrowed. Rupees 50,000, right? And it is given that the rate of interest, rate of interest is equal to 12, that is 12 percent per annum. Then we should understand that 100 rupees, for your understanding, for, for 100 rupees, there will be interest will be will be rupees 12 per annum per year per annum is per year so we had studied about when you are having a, a concept about 100 rupees or per unit we can use the proportion concept for solving the problem for example it is said that 12 rupees per hundred rupees. In that case, x rupees will be the interest for 50,000. We can simply, using the concept of proportion, we can solve this sum. We can rewrite this sum as x upon 50,000 is equal to 12 upon 100. We need x, x on the left side, right? So what we will do? We will remove 50,000. How can we remove 50,000? Multiply both sides by 50,000. So what will be the equation or what will be the situation next stage? Next stage will be in such a way that x, I will write it over here, x upon 50,000 into 50,000, remove 50,000, we are doing it, 12 upon 100 into, again mistake into 50,000, correct? So what will happen here? This will get cancelled. It will be x only here. Here 2, 0, 100 is divided by 2, 0, come on, 12 into 500, 12 into 5,000, 500, which is equal to 6,000. We got x now. What is x now? This is the interest to be paid in one year at the rate of 12% per annum. So amount to be paid by, who is that? Neha amount to be paid will be the amount of loan she has taken 50,000 plus 6,000 the interest that is why principal plus interest we have to pay so she will be paying 56,000 rupees understood so please understand that this way we can solve the sums with direct indirect proportion knowledge we are solving it Okay, we will go ahead. Here is another situation. Akash depositor rupees uh, 25,000 in a bank at the rate of 8% per annum. Akash deposit ke no? borrowing. Last two were borrowing, taken money from bank. He have deposited in the bank. Look at it. Deposited. And the rate of interest is 8% per annum. Akash will get. And deposited for three years. How much interest does he get? Every year, every year, every year, per year, and how much altogether? Teen sal altogether, kitna milega. So we know that 
the amount I will straight away without any kind of uh, explanation because you are understanding. If it is 100 rupees, we know that 8 rupees you will be getting. So, if it is 100 rupees, it is the interest under rupees, the rate of interest per annum is 8 percent per annum. So in that case, what I can do is I will simply straight away write in such a way that 8 if it is 100, then how much it is? X if it is 25,000. Again the concept of proportion if interest is more, the rate of interest is accordingly, according to the amount is more, the rate of interest you will be getting is more. It's a matter of direct proportion, one upon other will be constant, constant, so we are using it. The next stage I can simply write that, instead of multiplying with 25,000 on the left side, multiply with right side, kya hone wala left side ke 25,000 nikal jayega, right side you will be having 25,000. Later you say that you put 25,000 on the right side. That is all of your expertism later, not 2,525,000. Now cancel this. You have 250 here. 8, eight into 250 is 2,000. Okay, but this is for one year. Akash has deposited for three years. So 3 into 2,000. I'm not writing the statement. For three years, for three years, it is equal to 6,000. What is equal to interest? What interest it is? That Akash will be getting. How much he had deposited earlier? He had deposited 25,000. So he will be getting 6,000 interest. He will be getting an interest of? Interest total is? 6,000. And uh, what are the principal deposited? Amount deposited which is called as principal, it is 25,000. So you will get total amount he will be receiving after 3 years is 25 plus 6,000, 31. Jo bhi pucha aap de de. I say there aapko. Okay. That's it. From what happened actually, we have developed a can we can we can develop a formula to find out what actually I did or you understood is if you are writing x upon two thousand sorry twenty five thousand which is equal to eight upon hundred then x is equal to eight into twenty five thousand upon hundred and we got it as two thousand then what we did was two thousand into 3 which is equal to 6000 this is the interest that Akash will be getting. We can develop some technique by which your steps can be reduced or we can develop a formula. For example earlier also you have studied that the interest can be calculated by a formula PRT upon 100. P is principal which you know now what is principle. R is rate of interest, which you know that PCPA. T is time, but in years, because three years ka baat kiya na. So let us find out interest in the case of Akash. P is 25,000. Rate of interest is 8 per hundred into time is three years. Let us solve this. We are getting 6000. So why can't we use this formula directly to solve the sums? Yes, we can. So we developed a formula or we understood or remembered a formula which is having how to calculate total interest we can say. Total interest because of three years we are calculating total interest is equal to PRT upon 100. So you will buy hard this formula and apply this formula directly in the next occasion. Okay, let me move ahead. 
Now you are familiar with the formula. We will have some extra uh, cautious situation. Certain situation will be a little bit slightly different. We will deal that also. No. Here, where you can see the question is Santi Santi Bah. Ah, is abhi naam ho sakte? Santi Bah borrowed one lakh twenty thousand rupees. From bank, lonely I, four years for four years at the rate of eight and half PCPA for his son's education. What is the total amount returned to the bank at the end of that period? So lonely I, so interest के साथ return करना पड़े. We are having our formula to calculate interest PRT or PTR by hundred. PRT लिखो, PTR लिखो सब एक ही. Straight away to the sum. No more. No need of simple explanation for it. Principal is given as twelve thousand. Sorry, one lakh twenty thousand. Rate of interest is one thing specially eight and half. So how can we write eight and half in this formula? That is what is peculiarity. Eight and half you can write as eight point five if you feel comfortable. Or you can write it right to say 16 plus 17 upon 2. Then that case you will write like this 17 upon 2. Then there is a hundred or formula hundred percentage only. Or you can write it as directly 8.5 if you are comfortable. Then put hundred here into the time given over here is four years. You will calculate the Amount of interest. How usually you do multiplication and division. You will cancel here, then you will multiply all these things. Four into what we say one thousand two hundred. Then eight point. Any any way you can do. If you want to remove this ten eight point five, you can multiply with another ten over here. This decimal point will be removed if you want. All up to how much comfortable you are. That means if you put a ten over year and multiply with ten over year, it will become one thousand two hundred into eighty five into eighty five into four upon ten. It would be. You can even cancel that, and it will become one twenty. Then it will become four into one twenty. It's a comparatively. E C four into one twenty is equal to four eighty into eighty five. Ultimately, you will get an answer forty thousand eight hundred rupees. This is the interest you will be paying. The point over here is when it comes eight and a half, how to write? Okay, we will go ahead. Is there any more? Some yes. Umesh borrowed some money for five years. Again, ये Umesh सब borrow करते All these people are borrowing money. Ta borrowing means taking loan at simple interest. The rate of interest is nine percent per annum, and if he returns seventeen thousand four hundred rupees altogether at the end of five years, how much he had borrowed? Third, you have to calm down. Umesh borrowed money. कितना है हमको बोल रहा नहीं है. Umesh एकदम smart है. Umesh borrowed some money. But how much he returned? Seventeen thousand four hundred. Madam, it is the total of principal plus interest after five years. Interest rate is given, so we have to apply our common sense little upside down. Understood? We don't know the interest here. We don't know the principal here. We have more than one way. One of the ways we are familiar with direct inverse proportion, which is always for our safety. That means if you are if you are taken hundred rupees borrowed, if hundred rupees borrowed for nine years at the rate of at the rate of nine percent. For five years, not nine years, we know that the interest will be. We apply the formula P R T upon hundred. 
तो कैंसिल होकर फोर्टी फाइव रुपीज इंटरेस्ट आएगा मतलब इफ हंड्रेड रुपीज वॉज टेकन एस लोन प्लस फोर्टी फाइव रुपीज यू विल रिटर्न हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव रुपीज दैन मीन्स हंड्रेड रुपीज इफ यू बोरोड यू विल पे हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव रुपीज प्रपोर्शन बना रहे दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल एंड दिस इज द मनी पेड बैक एट द एंड ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स In that case, if X borrowed, you will be paying back. You have paid back seventeen thousand four hundred. समझे? Proportion के जैसे काम में आता. If you find out, that will be the principal. If hundred rupees, the principal hundred and forty five you paid back. X is the principal seventeen thousand four hundred four hundred you paid back. Now find out X. You can bring it for your convenience. X is equal to. You have to remove. Seventeen thousand four hundred from left and right side. So you will write x upon seventeen thousand four hundred is equal to hundred upon one forty because left me lane ke liye ulta lika bas and multiply both side with seventeen thousand four hundred. What will happen? X will be there on the left side and hundred upon one forty five into seventeen thousand four hundred will give you the answer. थोड़ा आपको काम करना पड़ेगा इफ यू डिवाइड वन फोर्टी फाइव विथ फाइव यू आर हैविंग टू फाइव सर टेन नाइन फाइव सर फोर्टी फाइव इफ यू आर डिवाइडिंग विथ दिस फाइव ट्वेंटी अंडरस्टूड नाउ इज देर एनी कॉमन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड वन सेवेंटी फोर दैट विल बी द क्लू मैं जरा चेक करता हूं इज देर एनीथिंग कॉमन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड What we say? One seventy-four. As the unit place is having four, and one second, my pen is troubling me. Okay, the unit place is having four. We can say that nine six are fifty. We'll try with six. Nine six are fifty-four. Six two are twelve plus five seventeen. Whatever. So this will go six times here. This became six hundred, and we are having. Twenty over here. Twenty into six hundred is equal to twelve thousand. Right? This is the amount he borrowed. Why put that? He borrowed twelve thousand rupees. We did it with a proportion concept. That's why the chapter direct and inverse proportion is very important. When I was teaching that, I told you hundred times that. बहुत काम का चीज है सो हो गया ना काम का चीज मैथ्स इज लाइक दैट व्हेन यू लर्न अबाउट परसेंटेज यू नेवर थॉट दैट सेवन स्टैंडर्ड में परसेंटेज का काम आएगा व्हेन यू लर्न अबाउट एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड डिवीजन दैट टाइम यू थॉट दैट इट इज एंडिंग ओवर द बट इट वाज अ बिगिनिंग एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग यू लर्न इन द पास 8 एंड 1/2% तो 8.5 लेगा डेसिमल पॉइंट आ गया डिविजन आ गया सब्ट्रैक्शन आ गया मल्टीप्लीकेशन आ गया सो एवरीथिंग व्हाट यू लर्न इन प्रीवियस इयर्स कम्स इन एवरी डे यूज इन मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पेक्यूलियरिटी ऑफ इट एंड वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बाय दैट सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू विल गेट इनटू द प्रॉब्लम सेट एंड विल डू योर लेवल बेस्ट इन योर ओन वे टू सॉल्व इट सॉल्व इट सॉल्व इट बिकॉज यू हैव टू बिकम स्ट्रांग इनफ टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स थैंक यू now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you